that Mukono Municipality Mayor Mkasa Arias Nkoyoyo has advised the government to lay out a proper plan to help private education institutions. Mayor Nkoyo was at Shalom Integrated School Nursery and Primary School in Sonde. Schools like Shalom Integrated Nursery and Primary School are some of those private entities without which education in Uganda would be hard to achieve. To people like Bukoro Municipality Mayor Iria Nkoyoyo, the role of these private schools in areas like Mukono need to be appreciated through support from government in key components like sciences. You haven't done. So if the private sectors come in to construct at least 10 schools in a village, a village like Kisund has over 10 private schools, so they have helped us a lot. You see that all children of school going ahead have where to go for schooling. And the private sector has organized for funds to pay for that. Teachers to pay for lunch for these younger boys who can't learn without lunch. So I can say, as from Okono Municipality, the private sector has helped us. I could even pray that the government can consider giving a top-up allowance to private teacher, to teachers in the private schools. Mayor Nkoyoyo suggested this while at Shalom Integrated Nursery and Primary School that honored its 2022 primary living candidates. For us we are celebrating uh, because these are our first candidates since we started the school. They are the first candidates and they, seeing them grow and being able to do different things, like he was saying that it is, it is holistic, we provide holistic education, we make sure that we train these children different skills. It's not only about academic but also uh, behavior, discipline and also making sure that out of class they are able to do something. <coughs> It's during this event uh, that uh, the school management confirmed that despite some relief, the effects of COVID-19 still linger. In my view, these institutions uninterrupted, we still need like five years to recover from the impact of COVID. Because COVID affected many schools, uh, I put on another hat, I am the chairperson of Mukono Municipality Private Schools Directors Association. And so I know very many schools that were affected because of bank loans. Uh, I know many schools that were in rental premises that closed shop. I know many schools that are still struggling because the parents themselves are unable to pay fees. The school sat 16 learners with nine of them registering first grades and the others passed in second grade. My, my name is James Douglas from Trinity. In the future I want to be an engineer. My name is Atim Nicole Gossi. Um, in, in future, I want to be a doctor. Every child, 